if we are about the work of regeneration on this planet, this dream, this vision, is this pattern of harmonization that we remember someplace deep in our hearts and that we invoke now, I invoke now, our harmonization as a memory, as a truth that is pre-existing, but as a current reality to be activated among us. If we are to bring rolling waves of activation to the world, certainly these patterns of harmonization among us must be set up, paid attention to, lived into, and certainly not denied, not crossed, transgressed. Certainly we cannot live in ignorance of that harmonization and expect to do any great thing, spiritually speaking. So it would seem that the first order of business for us is harmonization. Deliberate conscious harmonization. And so we have made the conscious choice, all of us on this call to be together in this way today. And there is something conscious to do together to allow this harmonization to be invoked it doesn't just happen without a deliberate choice to initiate it, to initiate the vertical memory and the harmonization. That is the face of the waters, the conscious part. So we have to allow the spirit to move on the face of the waters and do something consciously, but surely that's not enough. We have to reach out with the faculty, the capacity of heart that we have and touch emotionally the creative field that we share. This network, this pattern of harmonization, reach out heart to heart to one another to allow that harmonization to be real so that what's profoundly present in our own heart is shared with others, and we receive what's in the hearts of others. Not only for the sake of a deepening of the heart for its own value, but because we are consciously and deliberately setting up a pattern of harmonization. And how do we do that without the capacity of heart? 